Hello, my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Welcome back. Welcome to all my new subscribers, my ride or dies. Y'all know I love you. It's an ugly, cloudy, rainy, misty kind of day today, but it's not going to stop my vibe, okay? But today, I do have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 2. I kind of dropped the ball yesterday on Vlogmas Day 1 because life, okay? So I did a walkthrough instead of a haul, but I wanted to let you guys know that I have been invited to participate in a wonderful, wonderful Vlogmas collab originated from my girl Marina. Marina, Marina, Marina. <laughs> Marina is from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. If you don't know who she is, what are you doing with your life, okay? Because she is absolutely fabulous, all right? This woman finds so much fabulous stuff. She's from New York, and I love her. She is one of my besties on YouTube, and I'm so, so happy that I met her. But this collab is going to include some fabulous, fabulous ladies. Um, Constance from Butterfly Mom Creation, Mercedes from One Crafty Ginger, um, of course, Marina, she originated it. I'm reading from my list because we have some newcomers this year. So we've got Constance from Butterfly Mom Creations, moi, okay, and we have Mercedes from One Crafty Ginger. We have Gretchen, who is new to YouTube and just starting up a channel, so you guys have to go over, please, if you would go over and watch these other channels our collabs are wonderful. We're doing all kinds of things, no set things. Y'all know me. I'm a Dollar Tree hauler, so you'll mostly see Dollar Tree hauls. I do want to share um, how I make my homemade yeast rolls and things like that. So we got a whole month to decide what we want to do. Plus, there's going to be some fabulous, fabulous surprises throughout the month. Check out the channels, okay? So we've got... Gretchen from Thrift is My Gift, and we have Denise from Denise's Hall, 7436, and we have a newcomer, um, Frugal Virginia from Frugal, Frugal Finds. Now, I have not watched her channel. Or I think I've watched Frugal Finds a few times, but I have to get her link so I can add it in the description box, but all of these wonderful, wonderful ladies will be in the description box. We are not promising to vlog every day, but y'all know I'm pretty much an everyday vlogger anyway, so vlogmas shouldn't be too difficult, but once again, I make my plans, but God orders my steps. So anywho, thank you, Marina, for inviting me to be part of this wonderful collab. I am so excited to see what this new month, last month of 2023, is going to bring to us all. But without further ado, now that I've explained all that, that was supposed to have been explained yesterday, let's jump into this Dollar Tree haul. Okay, my beautiful sweets. The first thing I'm going to share with you is this milk chocolate naturally and artificially flavored. It's by Recon One. And y'all know my hauls are behind. They've been sitting here for a while. Y'all know the drill already. But these are called... I don't know if they're MRE protein shakes, whole food protein, milk chocolate, 25 grams of protein, 150 calories per um, box, and it is a 11.16 fluid ounce, and I bought these for my sister. I was on the hunt for the Premier uh, Root Beer um, shakes, and they're sold out everywhere I've gone so far. So when I go to Rocky Mount today, I will be checking those stores up there to see if I can find her some more of those because she absolutely, absolutely loves those root beer um, premier shakes. But I did get her two of these for now. Y'all know I keep her in the protein shakes. These are used by July 24th, um, 2024. So I got her two of the milk chocolate ones. And then they had them in the vanilla, the vanilla. These are same thing, 25 grams of protein, vanilla milkshakes, same thing. So they look like this. Those are the vanilla ones, okay? 
And she's going to, I think she's going to love these. These are used by May 2nd, 2024. So she'll have to use the vanilla ones up first. But you know, my sister, I told y'all, she puts it in her coffee, her cereal, her this or that. She concocts her shakes. She uses them in almost everything. And I found this a while ago. I'm still um, looking for the Funfetti Brownies. I have not seen in any of my stores that I frequent lately. But I did find the Pillsbury Funfetti Vanilla Premium Cupcake Mix. And this is a 10.58 ounce. It says it makes 12 cupcakes. It looks really, really good. I told you guys in a previous walkthrough. I still have a can of the Oreo icing in my pantry. I'm not sure if it's expired or not. But if it is, I'll just get another one. But this is best if used by August 24th, 2024. This looks like this. Looks yummy. And y'all know, I always doctor everything up. I don't follow the instructions to the T. I use most of them, but not to the T, you know. So, I did get that. I'm trying to find somewhere to sit it again, y'all. Right. And I think that's it. Oh, no. I think that's it on the food for right now. I, I did find these Great Scents air fresheners in the Bourbon Vanilla Limited Edition and the Blackberries and Sage. And I have so, oops, excuse me, y'all. I have so many air fresheners. I definitely will be um, sharing these with my family and my cousins and my neighbors, anybody who needs them. Because as soon as I get a chance to finish decluttering my bathroom, I have cans on top of cans on top of cans of air fresheners. But I can't help it. When I see something new, I have to get it. Let me pick this up. I'll be right back. Okay. This is the other one. And I was so excited because I finally found the wax melts, I believe, down in Virginia. And I was so happy because y'all know I use my wax melts because we can't burn candles here. Um, but this is the blackberry and the sage. Hope you guys can see that. Nice cans. And I sprayed them in the... Um, in the store and they smell really really nice so let me sit that down there and ooh, that smells really really nice y'all okay this i just found yesterday oh my god i walked past it and i backed up i was like baby love by personal care baby room air freshener fresh and pleasant baby scent when I tell y'all this smells just like a baby, I'm mad that I only picked up one. I, if I see it again, I'm definitely getting some more. This by far is my favorite over all the air fresheners that I have purchased from the Dollar Tree. This literally, literally smells like a little baby, y'all. If anybody knows what a little clean washed baby smells like, oh my God, it really does. This is a um, eight ounce can. And it is so cute. I can't wait to use this. I will definitely, definitely be using this. So this is a great find that I found yesterday at my small Dollar Tree in here in my town on Cooper Road over there by the Walmarts. Okay. So if you guys want to go out my local subbies, y'all want to run out and try it, go get it. Because y'all know that Dollar Tree is small. Then I got found another of the scents. Lux collection and I told you guys before if I couldn't find this fragrance they only had two and if I couldn't find it I was just going to split the one that I did find up and give one to one brother and one to the other but I did find the Burwood two-pack vent scents and the great scents is coming out with some nice fragrances wax melts so one brother will get the other one and another brother will get this so I got that Okay, my sweets, I found these a while ago, and I was almost out of my um, wipes for my, you know, to take up what little makeup I wear. Um, these are Be Pure. They say they are compared to Cetaphil, Cetaphil, Gentle Skin Cleansing Cloth with Aloe Vera, B5, and B3. You get 25 cloths. It just says Gentle Cleansing Cloths. Removes all oil, dirt, and makeup to leave skin feeling clean. And, of course, do not flush, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. So I picked up a pack of these. Y'all know I got wipes up the yin, 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 you. <laughs> but I don't care. I use a wipe every night to take off, like I said, the little bit of makeup that I wear. 
Okay, so I got that. And this is a new find to me. And I haven't seen it in any other stores, but the one store that I found it at, and I believe this was in Rocky Mount. Don't quote me on that, because y'all know. I zigzag from Dollar Tree to Dollar Tree, and honey, I lose it after a while. Can y'all see my little fireplace over there? Isn't it cute? That's from the Dollar Tree Plus from last year. I purchased that, and I love it. But these are the Enzo... <clears throat> Uh, moth tech paper covered these are moth ball packets and y'all know how we always get them in the Dollar Tree in the, the little balls and stuff these are kills cloth moths and carpet beetles and it's a cedar scented and it says no clinging odor and it's made in the USA and it's net weight is 2.5 ounces it doesn't say how many you get in here moth pockets I'm trying to see yeah, it's not telling you how many you get in here, but this is definitely new, and I'm definitely going to use it, put it in my closets to help, you know, um, just like I do with the regular um, mothballs and the, the liquid one. It just says manufactured, but yeah, it's little package, y'all. Look at that. That was definitely new to me, so I grabbed that, and this is a repurchase. I absolutely love these serve extra strong compostable compostable everyday plates you only get a little bit but these babies are slamming okay unless you um use something wet or anything you can reuse these over and over again which i do so having only 12 in them is not a big deal the first time i purchased them i think i just used the last plate yesterday so it's in serve compost compostable. I always have a problem with that name. I also repurchased the bowls because I really, really do like these. These are very, very nice for a Dollar Tree product. And of course, they're not Dollar Tree, they're by Serve. So that's probably a name brand, you know, item. So I did pick up another thing of the plates and the bowls. And let me grab a few more items, y'all. Okay, my sweets, I got stuff falling all over the place. But I saw this in the red down in Virginia, I believe. And I was a little disappointed because when I found this in Rocky Mount, this is a little tea light holder or candle holder. And they only had it in the gold and the silver in Rocky Mount. But when I went down to Virginia, I think it was the Emporia store, they had a red one. And I would have loved to have had that red one. But I wasn't going to purchase another one knowing I already had this one. But aren't they cute? They got the little um, holly on the on the side. And you just put a little tea light, color changing tea light in there if you want. Or decorate it as however you want. Y'all know I'm pretty much done with my Christmas decorations. But you're going to see a lot of Christmas stuff or a few Christmas stuff throughout my hauls for this month. Because I already purchased them. Okay, my sweets, this is one of the items that I found. I said it was for my niece, but y'all know, I'm just a big kid at heart, okay? But this is a Disney princess. Be kind. Be kind, y'all, okay? It is a fabric dress designer. You get one set. It says layer to create your own dress designs. It includes two posters and I just couldn't believe it. I was just like, oh, how beautiful is that? Can you see how you layer her dress? So this is the items that you get in there. And you can just design her dress however you want. And I thought that was so cute for just $125. You know, what is um, <laughs> Michelle of a money-minded um, Michelle say? Five quarters, okay? <laughs> but it's the Disney Princess. I will probably give this one to, put this one in my niece's box because, yeah, I got this one and I absolutely, absolutely love it. Y'all know the newest Mer Little Mermaid movie, Black Panther, anything that, you know, <sighs> represents us. I'm just in love with, and I keep these. These are keepsakes for me, all right? I don't play with them. I don't open them. I have a whole wall of toy collections. I think I've showed you guys before, but yeah, it's getting pretty full. But this one is Disney, The Little Mermaid. It says one peel, two stick, three um, posts, includes three posters, and it is includes 12 foil sheets. 
It's a peel and stick foil art. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Now this is just going on the background. I was just like, look at her, y'all. She's so beautiful. And y'all know, I love the original Little Mermaid. I used to crack my, my brother's uh, daughters up when they were small. And I would always go, oh. <laughs> And they would crack up laughing because I love the Little Mermaid, you know. But this is what she looks like. Those are the foil stickers you get with her. Isn't she gorgeous? So that one's definitely mine, y'all. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. But then this next item is her as well. This is a dry erase board. And it is Disney the Little Mermaid. And it's going in with my collection. It just looks like this. But she's got... They got her on there, and I got to have it. It's got a little string on the back where you can hang it if you want. But, yeah, this will not be open. This is part of my toy collection. And then the last thing in The Little Mermaid is the LED nightlight. And I, I'm i telling you, I found her weeks ago. And I literally gasped when I saw her because I saw all the other ones but never the Little Mermaid. Now, everywhere, every store I go to, they have her fully stocked. Thank God. But this is the LED nightlight. And it's got the purple plug in, y'all. Look at that. Purple. <laughs> I said that was just like the icing on the cake. But I got this one. And I absolutely love her. So, yeah. I got my Little Mermaid collection. And I was very, very happy. All right. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. I don't want it to be too long. Let me see. Okay, my sweets, I'm going to cut this video short, and I'm just going to show you some puzzles that I found yesterday, again, at the Cooper Road um, Dollar Tree by the Walmarts, and I haven't been able to do my puzzles that my girl Shauna sent me, but they're part of my keepsake. They go with my toy collection. They're, they are displayed with my toy collection, but these are new to me. They're called Art Box. 350. They're by Crazy Art. And this is so cute. It was just so eclectic. And it just has little designs on here. And this is a 350 piece puzzle. And I want, I got the puzzle glue or lamination. And I just have not had a chance to do any of that. I'd love to put these together and glue them together and put them in a frame because that is so colorful. And y'all see all that purple? Mm hmm Yeah, I had to have her. I hope you could see that. And then I got this one. And this is also 350 pieces. Art Box by Crazy Art. Okay? And she's just as cute. Look at her. She looks like gypsy, like a gypsy. Isn't she cute? <laughs> I had to have her. And as you can see, Crazy Art. So, I never saw these before, y'all. And they had many, many more and very different ones. But those those are the only, these are the only ones that I chose. This is my favorite one because it's a mother and her baby. And it's 500 piece by Crazy Art. And the colors are so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at mom holding her baby. That is so cute. So I purchased all of these, and they're like I said, they're just going in there with my toy collection. And the last thing in this haul today for Vlogmas Day 2 is what you saw in the thumbnail. Okay, my sweets, when I first saw these shoes floating around on um, Dollar Tree hauls and walkthroughs, I was like, what? Dollar Tree's got Crocs in or Croc dupes? and shoes and they had them in so many different colors but the only ones that came to my area stores were the yellow crocs and the blue um, step-in shoes and they had sizes i believe from <clears throat> i think it was from 6 to 13 i think 13 or maybe 14 was the largest size i saw and 6 was the smallest size but I bought a pair for me, and I bought a pair for my girl, Odessa. I hope hers is not too big, because mine fits perfect, okay? And the first ones I found were the yellow um, Croc dupes. These were or $1.25, you guys, $1.25. I was so blown away when I saw these floating around. I had no idea that they would come to my area, and... 
yeah, they came to both my stores. I've tried them both on. Okay, so you got the croc dupe that you can put your little jimmies in. And I just got another whole pack of jimmies from Timu that I will be showing you guys in an upcoming video. But these fit perfect. I couldn't believe it. They're a size 11. Okay, so I was able to find me a pair in the yellow. And then I found myself a pair in the blue. And these blue blew me away when I took them out of the bag because... <laughs> <laughs> they had all this purple going around them. So these are just the step-ins. They're by Layer 8. Y'all know the same company that we were getting the hats and the baby hats from, from Layer 8. That is the company that they are from. But look it. I had no idea they had all this purple going around this ship. I just saw the blue, okay? These are great for, like, water shoes, pool shoes, or just step in to run check your mail or whatever, run to the store real quick. They're very comfortable, and they fit perfect. So I got this layer 8 in the blue. And like I said, I did find one in a size... Um, 13 or 14, I don't, I'm not really sure. Oh, size 13. I'm not really sure if my sister is going to be able to wear them, but if she's not, I will just donate these. But <clears throat> this was the largest size that I found, so I just grabbed her a pair of these to put in her Christmas bag because I don't know. I don't know if she's going to be able to wear them or not, but I did get those. And that is it for today. I have so much more stuff to share with you guys. I'm so excited. And I'm on the hunt, on the hunt for the palettes that I did not um, get. I think there's a winter and an autumn out there that I didn't get. But that's coming up in another haul. But happy Vlogmas Day 2, everyone. Have a blessed, blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And whatever you do, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very, very much. Everyone have a blessed day. Bye, guys.